Oh, I want to read for you a comment that was left on my Instagram last night by a model. This is what she writes. So Hamas broke through Israel's extreme, in all caps, protections, and then went around collecting newborn babies and then beheading them. Emoji of the chin-stroking emoji. And how did they know where to find these Holocaust survivors? You speak of that. And how old are they now? Have you ever seen the movie Wag the Dog? All war and killing is bad, and you either condemn both sides or you're part of the problem. <laughs> no, the hell you don't. When good fights evil, you don't take a you don't sit back and say, "Ah, oh, I'm not taking a side here." Today, Hamas is ordering Gazans to stay in their homes as Israel tells them to head south because they're about to invade. Israel gave Gaza residents a day to prepare and is now telling the Gaza residents where they're about to go, please leave, so they don't get killed. And Hamas is saying, no, you want me to take a both-side situation here? There's good and there's evil. There is no gray here. Major media organizations in this nation and around the world are pro-Hamas. In fact, I learned today there's a major media organization in this country, thankfully not mine, that is advising its newsrooms you're not allowed to refer to Hamas as a terrorist organization. You can call them a militant group. This is the BBC. Listen to this reporter from the BBC. My name is Adnan al Borsh, a reporter for BBC Arabic and a resident of Gaza. Here in Ishifa Hospital, bodies lay everywhere. The injured scream for help. You can never forget these sounds. Among the dead and wounded, my cameraman Mahmoud has seen his friend Malik. They didn't do this in Israel. BBC has a Gaza resident in Gaza going to the hospital in Gaza to cover the carnage that they blame on Israel in Gaza. They didn't do this in Israel. They didn't interview the victims. Many of you have long wondered, how is it that the Holocaust could happen? This is how. You have major media outlets in this country that cannot bring themselves to condemn Hamas or even call Hamas a terrorist group. You have major universities in this country allowing anti-Semitic protests on campus in the name of free speech, do a thought, do, do a thought experiment. Would they allow white nationalist students to march on campus after George Floyd died? Of course not. But whenever it's the Jews, the anti-Jews are allowed to march. The anti-Semites are allowed to march. The pro-Hamas ralliers are allowed to rally. It's every other cause, they take a side. They find their moral conviction all the time, but never when it comes to Israel. You have people purportedly on the right, the Tim Pools of the world who are online celebrities on the right, who are taking the images, the graphic images out of Israel and say, well, this might have been generated by AI. I want to remind you all of something. And I can remind you from the shared story of the world's three great religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Now, the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Look, look at what the devil does. He twists it. He acts like he has some special knowledge. If he did, he would know God didn't say you must not eat of any tree in the garden. He just twists it ever so slightly. And then he says, you will surely not die, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And look where we are today. In the muddied waters after the fall, there are a lot of people who can't even figure out what evil is. 
Hamas, in an unprovoked attack, killed babies and grandmothers and Holocaust survivors. They live stream it on Facebook pages. There are pictures. We see and the, have heard the interviews of the parents of the victims, of the survivors of the attacks. You have a bunch of people online, a bunch of people marching in the streets, a bunch of people on television saying, did it really happen that way? How can we trust the media? How can we believe our own eyes? Maybe, maybe you know, Israel's response, that's bad too. We should condemn all of it. So here's the regular pattern. The terrorists get to kill the Jews, and when the Jews respond, oh, it's both sides are so bad right now. We, we, we can't, how, how can we allow this to happen? We need a ceasefire now. Every time the good guys prepare to respond, evil says, oh, no, 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 ceasefire, ceasefire. If you're on that side, I do want you to know you're on the side of evil. I do want you to be very clear here. If you believe Israel cannot respond because of collateral damage, you are on the side of evil. Evil provoked this. Hamas is an evil organization. They killed women. They raped women. They killed children. They raped raped children. They killed Holocaust survivors who they found in the streets of Israel. They killed the young. They killed the old. If you say, oh, well, Israel can't respond now because there may be collateral fallout, there may be innocent people killed, Israel worked to allow the innocent people to flee before attacking, Hamas refused to allow them. If you can't see that, if you can't recognize that, you're on the side of evil. You want to see how the Holocaust happened? The Holocaust happened by people who believe in their own innate goodness, refusing to take the side of good, and instead throwing up mud and smoke so they don't have to see what actually happened, so they can abdicate their own responsibility for the truth. That's how the Holocaust happened. And you can see them trying to have it happen again. They do not like the Jews. They do not like Israel. They are anti-Semites. And they're behaving like the devil in the garden. Did this really happen? Did God really say? They're on the side of evil. There are only two sides here. You deciding to sit it out and say, well, both sides are bad. You're on the side of evil. And you need to look in the mirror and just call yourself evil because that's what you are.